Hey there, my name is Nicole and I am recovering from cadaver cartilage surgery in my knee and then also tibial osteotomy and going into surgery about a week prior started to panic. So when I panic, I find trying to organize and get prepared eases my mind. So I thought I would share some of the tips and things that helped me coming home from surgery and prior to knowing that I had ready. One of the first things I knew that I would have to buy was a backpack. I have a ton of backpacks here at home thanks to all the Ironman I've done. However, I wanted something a little more professional for work and yeah, so didn't buy anything expensive. Went to Amazon, got this. They've got different colors. Had a front pocket, which I thought was important. It's got side pockets for drinks, although they're a little small. And then also has um, a back pocket for the laptop, which fits. And then on the front inside pocket, it's got places for your phone and some pens. So this was a great addition. It's two and a half weeks post-surgery now, and you know I don't really go anywhere without it. I keep all my purse stuff in the front pocket to keep things convenient and, um, and have it separated. And some of the things that I always carry with me, I'll go into that really quick just because um, you might find it helpful. I carry this and um, I carry two of them. So when I get up to go and do anything, if I need to refill it, I can refill them. Uh, try to have them both full at all times so when I sit down I don't have to get back up. And so these I carry, drink lots of water. Um, another thing that I carry is an overnight kit which came in handy. So it's got your toothbrush, your toothpaste, contact case, um, glasses, deodorant because I feel like I sweat every time I try to do anything. Um, well, I still sweat every time I try to do anything. And so I keep this even in there now. Um, as I'm back to work because you never know when you need some deodorant. So this has been super handy. Um, you can brush your teeth while laying on the couch if need be and somebody brings you a bowl of water. That's been handy along with keeping um, just a remote charger with, I love this little attachment with cords because this has five different types of um, attachments so anything I need to charge I can pretty much charge with this outside of my computer and the other thing I carry in my backpack is medication so let's move on to the next purchase I made the next purchase I made was this great thing so condenses which is great and then if you drop anything, whether it be in the couch, piece of paper, your cell phone, this has been a great addition. Plus, my son and my dog had some great fun with it the other night, which, you know, hey, the kid is happy. I will take it. But this has been good. Very inexpensive to use. Breaks down. Fits right into the next purchase I will go into, which is this handy desk. Uh, it goes over the couch. And so, whether I'm working or eating, whatever it may be, I've now got this, which is very handy. It's got a pocket on the side to keep things in. It's got um, rollers, so um, I took the rollers off to make it fit under the couch, slid under the couch perfectly, which is wonderful. It also has a height adjustment, so in the future, I will utilize it when I'm on my bike trainer and trying to watch something or maybe get some work done. So that was a great purchase. Um, back in the day, they had those TV dinner table type things that you could use. I bought one of those for upstairs. Not used it a ton, but I kept it mainly because I have a nine-year-old and, you know, I know it can come in handy. Here goes the dog. The next thing that I would recommend getting, if you don't already have, is this right here. For anyone who's an athlete or um, been through PT, you might have one of these bands. You don't necessarily have to get one of these bands. You could use a rope or anything else. But when you come out of surgery, uh, I did not understand 
um, how bad it was going to hurt to try and move my leg and that my quad muscles are shut down. So use this to lift my leg up and down, get off the couch, all that good stuff, whatever you need it for. This very handy, but again, you don't have to buy anything. You can use a rope. Most of what I bought, I will go ahead and tell you, was off the Amazon, mainly because it was a week prior, and I just needed to order stuff and get it here, make life easier. So, the next thing that I did get was this handy thing. So, this helps you put your socks on in case um, you don't have someone to help you. I'm independent. I hate to help, ask for help, so wanted to make sure I got this. This has been really good. Um, it works even over the ace bandage. It also helps put compression pants on, which um, as soon as I could get rid of the ace bandage, I put my compression pants on. Calaloco, those are my favorite. Just shout out on that. Um, so this is great. Like $8, I think. Good purchase. So what to wear after surgery? Um, you have to think about your leg and how it's going to be in this gigantic brace and how you're not going to be able to use it and all this other great stuff and, you know, pants don't really fit over the brace. Even pajama pants, like I've got a couple pairs that fit. So I uh, had another YouTube um, channel I had found that recommended this and it's just a sweatshirt dress which was really nice um, and comfy had um, it's got pockets in the front so that was great could carry my phone around if need be but yeah so lived in this for a couple of days also lived in one of my other little just slip on dresses um, from Tri Serena that came in just in time and loved it just because um, you know I had access to ice my knee do the CPN unit whatever I needed to do moving on so you get these ice machines that go um, around your knee, have the attachment. They work phenomenally, but when you're on crutches and you're depending on other people, they can tend to be a little cumbersome uh, and hard to continually use and update. And so I had talked with one of my friends who had had a tibial osteotomy as well, and he recommended prior to surgery by me. three of these he bought six I keep these in the freezer this wraps around my knee amazing perfect swap them in and out I, I use two at a time um, sometimes because down at the lower part of your leg around the calf and ankle you will swell a lot and there will be a lot of bracing so uh, that works really well too um, to have both of those and just have another option very easy click in and out of the freezer I have three that seems to have worked pretty well I think if could go back and do over I might have gotten four but just didn't want to spend all the money so that was another one I'll move on to something that one of my I race like a girl teammates recommended and <coughs> so I'm not normally very modest but using a portable potty in my house or on the couch is just a whole nother subject uh, I'm glad I purchased it it was again roughly around eight dollars I'd show it to you but I threw it away as soon as I knew I wouldn't use it again and um, it worked I will say sometimes you get close to overflowing but hey whatever it was about two days post surgery and I was not getting off the couch and I cannot imagine how bad it would have been had I needed to get off the couch because, um, yeah, the pain was pretty bad. So portable potty for those women out there, um, you know, just bite the bullet, have it. You don't have to use it, but you have it handy if you need it. And it, it was a, it was a lifesaver. Um, if you have young children, you can always trick them into pouring it out in the toilet for you may only work once or twice before they realize what it is but you know parents can torture their children every once in a while another thing that i will 
recommend is um, if you like the coffee hot and you like to drink it slowly throughout the day, I use a Yeti typically, uh, have a bunch of them. However, you know, carrying it to work or to the couch or anywhere is not a possibility because of the whole, even with the lock lids, you know, that top could pop off at any moment. So I purchased this. It is um, Zojai Rushi and it's really nice. So it's got the lid, it's got the lock button, it's got an unlock button, it pops open, it's got a little zipper at the top. Kept, I mean, I, I've let it sit here. I typically fill both of them in the morning and um, I'll have my second one by lunch and it will still be hot. So definitely comparable when it comes to keeping things warm. And um, speaking of filling both of them, so kind of one of the things um, I would highly recommend is when you do have to get up, be really mindful of anything and everything you may want uh, when you get up. Uh, I take my backpack with me every time I get up. I put all my drinks in my backpack to refill. I think of, am I going to want any food? Do I want to go ahead and grab an ice pack? Do I need to, you know, get anything else? So just something to think about and keep in mind as your surgery approaches or if you're already in the midst of it, maybe something that can help um, lessen the times you have to get up or down or ask for help. I think one of the last things that I purchased was this, um, it's called Zen Bamboo, and it is just a little pillow, well, it's a gigantic pillow. Um, I bought two of them, so I've had a bunch of foot surgery, knee surgeries, and I've always used pillows prior um, to this. However, when I saw this and thought through the process of always rearranging pillows, restuffing them, middle of the night, them coming apart, you know, as far as the stacking order, this is perfect. It's got the great angle. Now, granted, when you first have surgery, um, if you're having my type of surgery, you won't be using the angle, so it won't matter. But uh, eventually, you'll start to use the angle, so it's nice. And then it doesn't move, it's got grippers on the bottom. It also zips and unzips so you can take the cover off. The only thing I will mention that has been a little bit frustrating with this is um, you can't really find a cover that's inexpensive for it and I just can't justify buying one for, for this right now. Um, I have two, one for downstairs and upstairs because our bedroom's upstairs, but it snags on stuff so like my ice pack for instance, um, any of the Velcro will snap on it. So uh, I don't really care, just you know, letting it go at this point. But that is one of the frustrating things. Um, CPM unit, in case you haven't gotten one of these or don't need one, um, I keep this on the couch. I do a lot of my work during the day here. And then when I get home from work, if I'm working at the office or have meetings, uh, I try to get this done before I go to bed. I may or may not switch that as I have four to six hours a day I'm supposed to be doing it. So that leads me to another thing, not something I purchased, but something I tried to do ahead of time. So try to make sure all the essentials were plugged in <laughs> prior to going to the hospital. Knowing that I'd be on the couch, I knew exactly where to go. So um, I've got two chargers behind the couch that are for... Um, you know, my phone, my iPad, and then also my laptop. And then the CPM unit is also charged, um, is also already put in the wall to um, always be ready for me to use. And down here, you will see a bunch of junk. Um, one of them is my briefcase for work. It's just got a lot of stuff in it. I like to keep it handy um, just because you know, you don't want to have to walk out to the car if you need something. And so I keep that down there. I also have a gallon jug of water. So randomly I will harass my son or my um, husband to go fill that up for me. So on the off chance I run out of all these drinks or forget to refill something, I can refill it on my own generally without it being an issue. So let me look at my notes. There are um, one more thing I purchased, and it's on my phone, so I can't 
show you because I'm using my phone to record this. It is a square sticky thing and at the end of it, it's got an O-ring on it that can attach to, you know, a wrist bungee or a clip or whatever you need it to attach to. I wasn't sure if it would work with my phone because I have an OtterBox case, but it works perfectly. I will keep this on there for the days when I couldn't go back to paddle boarding and need it attached to the paddle board or whatever the case may be. But that's been really convenient so that way you can keep it on your wrist when you're using your crutches and not have to worry about dropping it and stuff like that. There are a few things I did not purchase because our house already has it and that would be in our shower. We luckily have a walk-in shower and um, we purchased this home from a retired couple and so right as you go into the shower on the right hand side there is a bench to sit on and also a removable shower head. So my shower um, experience has not been as bad as most. It's been, um, it, it's still extremely hard at first. So I, I preface it with that. But what you could do to make your life easier if you don't have those things is go ahead and buy a prior, um, prior to buy a shower chair. I, I can't say that enough because um, <laughs> even with what I have, it was not the easiest transition. And so I would do that. The next thing I've done um, in my bathroom is I actually brought my office chair into the bathroom so I can sit down to get ready. Um, you tend to, it, it just takes so much extra time and work to get ready that sitting down while I um, blow dry my hair or try and get dressed and all that stuff is much easier. I'm sure my husband hates having a chair permanently in the bathroom for at least the next couple months, but, um, you know, makes my life easier, so therefore, happy wife, happy life. Let's see. I don't think I'm missing anything or forgotten anything, but hopefully this will help some of you as you go into surgery or if you're right out of surgery. It's... Um, it's a tough road, so take every day as, um, you know, those small little wins that you have and be grateful for them. And hopefully this will help. And if you have any comments or questions, I welcome them. I'm not a medical professional, but I'd be happy to let you know more about my experience. Thanks.